Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And I'll quickly share with you, we'll go through the unit specification, what we're supposed to learn in yes, this. Please. And then we'll start your ball rolling. Okay. I'm going to share with you. Sorry, my light's few... quite dark. I'm sitting at a table, but the light is quite dark. So I'm sorry if I look really dark. No, no, that's, that's, that, that, <laughs> no, no, I no, am no, here, that's, I promise. No, no, that's absolutely fine. No worries. Thank you. Thanks, Vash. Okay, so I'll just log in on our... Please, you can log as well if you want to on Moodle. You can see, you know, what stuff we have. And I'll try to, because Raman told me to deliver this modules. Yes, so I'll try next lesson embed more example for you. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff, you know. I did my PGC as well. So, which I'll try to embed those, all the examples. Huh? Okay, we are going to start unit four. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And I will share with you in a few minutes, few uh, old assignment, and that will help us to get the concept as well. All the key terminologies. Okay, welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so unit four. Yeah, just about so it professional hasn't come practice up yet. and development. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. It's there, okay, really. Yeah. Sorry, tech, we can't rely 100% on technology. Never know. That. No, as I'm, uh, I always, technology is not my friend at school. Either, so they're just kind of in the process of like updating the computer systems, and the students had all previously been logging in under one kind of same login. Now that's all changed mm -hmm. and it's just, so they've all got their individual logins. So it's a SEN school. So yeah, it's taking a little, a little bit of adjusting, but hopefully it should speed up the more they log in. <laughs> it's just a case of remembering their passwords, which they struggle with. So, right, let's get going. So Brilliant. Sometimes we need to look around the security side, like you know, the password need to be alphanumeric and this and that. That's yeah. why they. That's, that's why they. Other have to you know, that's because these, you know, the few years I've been there, they've all had literally a generic password, mm -hmm. so they used to all log in on the same. Hence, why they're on to individual logins now for you know data protection and security and all sorts of um things. So. Yeah, I, I, I completely understand about technology, so. <laughs> really? You're right, yes. So it's a player, you know, because helping students, it's a wonderful job, you know, wonderful role. Especially Love because, you know, great. But obviously, I want to progress, so, hence why I'm looking at this. This is why I'm doing this. Brilliant. And that's good, you know, always good to be, keep learning. One of the great scholars said, doesn't matter whatever age you are in, whatever age we are in, uh, Either you're 80, 20, stop learning old. Huh? So we'll carry mm -hmm. on learning. We'll carry on getting day in and out because, of course, things are changing so rapidly, especially yep. in terms of technology. And I was teaching just blockchain, you know, finish my lesson. So it was looking, you know, so, so much stuff, you know, change everything in every profession, whichever profession. And that's, you know, so... I look after my account side. So I'm professionally accountant. I did my PGC, ACCA, MA, International Business Management, Marketing, Finance, and all. You so, know, how you, how did you move, so how did you move into teaching? Uh, back in 2009, I was area sale manager in British Gas. I've been redundant from. And okay. then, then I decided, you know, let you know, look a bit, you know, because I did so many different things. Teaching is only profession. You can embed, you know, everything into within it. You can share. And it's, it's a quite good, you know, really every day you're meeting with the new people. You carry on learning new concepts that keep you on track as well. And uh, it's, I mean, I'm teaching more flexible in a higher education. So slightly is a bit flexibility. So I'm, I was permanent, but I just said, okay, no, I want my hours. Yes, yeah, and, and yeah, my so flexibility, so end of the day, you know, need to be delivered. So I'm 
with the university. So just picking the subject, which I really like it and the time frame wise, and that give me a bit, you know, my independent as well, you know, yeah, meeting course, course. all the needs of my children, families and all. Yeah, there. of course, of course. It's, you know, it's a big commitment, isn't it, being a teacher as well, so. Okay, it's so <laughs> I guess you're right. So brilliant. Thanks for, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll try to go through, you know, in detail these, you know, the concepts. So today our discussion will be understand professionalism influence professional value in education and training. So a lot of discussion and of course, you know, the values is with the passage of time, demand and the profession and dual profession. Yes, two profession like mine accounting. I have to look around the accounting member of ACCA, professional, mm -hmm. professional five professional code of ethics, which we, abbreviate is called uh, popular people in chat and offices yes popular famous people chat in office so first of okay. all first of all, ethics we always look around professional competencies and due care so like you know upskilling cpd your yeah, record yeah, so we have to look around exactly in the teaching as well if you're a member of ifl hea or any other yeah, professional bodies you can become set or you can get you know after this you know you can apply for qtls qualifying that's teaching what, that's, that's what the, that's what the aim is so brilliant great you know that's always good because due to the increase in the age in school so now you can teach you know longer yes because up to 18 years and you can even you have a pgc in fe yes further education still you can teach in school through qtls as well yeah, you know lots of legislation that's that's where I am. That's where I hope to stay. So brilliant. Secondary so, education. Great. So in your specialized, your, you have any degree in maths or your computer? I don't. Science? I don't. Okay. It's not, it's not completely related, but it's not subject specific. So I was previously a social worker. Okay. So of course is uh, it can be related to the health and yeah. social care and which is wonderful because it's very high demand. Uh, even you can look around in assessing role within that, yes, mm -hmm. delivering and assessing as a talent coach where the flexibility, you manage your diary yourself, yes, even special needs as well, of course, you know, within that, that sector as well, good to explore. I wanna, I'm, I'm keen to get into the classroom, so. Uh, in there, brilliant. That's, you know, which there is, is a, Yeah, which, which I'm enjoying a, which, at the moment. Which Brilliant. is what I'm enjoying. It's, it's, so. it's, a, it's a wonderful, you know, because especially helping, you know, special needs people and it's a wonderful. I profession. love, I love, and I love, it's I love rewarding, you know. Great. Well done. Great, you know, <laughs> welcome. So let's <laughs> we'll start. Please, thank you. Thanks for. So professionalism and professional value, which will be our discussion, the concept of professionalism, dual profession. And we look around the professional value influence in own practice, in own area of specialism. Yes, that's, you okay. know, which we which we can look around in terms of special needs and as a professionalism, as a professional person. So what we can and what we're supposed to. So that's, you know, which we we'll look and we'll try each lesson, go through one learning outcome. OK, so today we look around the concept of professionalism and professionalism and dual professions. Yep, okay, then then this, then second, we look around the policy in context of education, a lot of, you know, education standard, but very well, Jeff Patty, one of the great, you know, scholar and well-mentioned and couple of books, you know, published I've put, as well. I've put one of his books upstairs. <laughs> Brilliant. That's, you Don't know. ask me which one it is, but I've definitely got one about Jeff Petty, so yeah. Great. So he said, you know, the professional teachers don't need a lesson plan or they look at the environment. What is, yes, it required that you can adjust yourself accordingly. Yes, without compromising the professional values. Yeah, of course. So that's, you know, which will be, we'll go through second lesson policies. Yes, some political factors, how these impact on education and policies and curriculum. We'll look around accountability stakeholders anyone who has any interest and we look you know the parent governors external government agencies and various other stakeholders that will be in our discussion in lesson three and then 
lesson for understand the organizational context of education and training, which we look, you know, how we can uh, look around these, you know, then we have five learning outcome, which will be quality improvement, of course, quality assurance. We look around TQM, total quality management perspective. That will be contextualized discussion, which we go through a good few examples, okay? So that yeah. all will be in our discussion. And uh, of course, okay. you know, we can look around, okay. we can look around different uh, education policies in the next lesson, which we look at, especially in your areas as well, of course, you know, special needs, yes, a lot of legislations sharing in those, so which we'll go through some of them, we'll try to pick up. Okay, so let's please. So today we have learning outcome one, all the slides available. I'll try to share with you, uh, if I can. Okay, so I'll share with you to look around these some sample, which we have some old assignment from universities, yeah? That give a bit, right. you know, so how we can. And so hope you can see, yes? Yeah. Review the debate on the professionalism in education and its impact on teachers or trainers. Yeah. So that, that's, that. quite, that's quite good too in your time. Maybe you can look around, which I'll share with you. So that's not our on at the moment on Moodle, but I'll request you know to upload as well. So yeah, no, the 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 role of of course IFL has been changed to set yes, the okay. and the, which a lot of changes happen which we can look around and I will give you the template CPD record how we can keep it, uh, skill audit how we can do and reflect. Uh, uh, so dual profession or uh, professionalism the definition about profession. So that's, you know, which is one of, and I'll give you these two set of these, you know, that will help. So I'll give you one of this. I hope you can see this too. Okay. Yeah, so, it's just coming up now. So it's, we can link to, uh, your background in the profession and dual profession or profession like uh, care workers and teachers. Yes, two dual professions. So we I'm can- I'm kind of doing, because obviously at the moment I'm doing, I am doing some teaching hours, obviously it's a requirement of course, but then I'm kind of also in my role as a uh, support assistant. So would that count as dual professionalism? Yes, because you have actually you are a care. Yes, your qualification, and we can look around in a teaching perspective, or even you in special needs as well. Yes, that you look after the students. Yes, so we can look around within that. You know what the role is the dual professions. Yes. Yep. So professionalism has many of current are emerging professions within the teaching professions. Yes, referred yep. to the dual profession professionalism mm -hmm. so which we will go through we'll explore more yes in various yep. various colleges are in fe or he or secondary yes all the settings so that's that's i'll share with you as well which is good you know which we can look around what's come okay so what is a profession and professionals yes so yep. or it can be in our organization, public status and salary, we can say the profession. Professional is activities, attitudes, and standards, yes, which is values. So we can call is a professional or professional values. And especially if we are a member of any awarding bodies, we have to follow those as the professional values. Huh? That yeah, will be that makes sense. And we'll move back to our these slides. Okay, uh, I'll share with you. Okay, it's my name Anjum Sathar and my email address Anjum at ukversity dot co dot uk. Would you Would you be able to send me an email just so then I have your email uh, contact details? 
uh yes um i will i will share on the on the whatsapp group as well in a minute huh? yeah no that's really helpful thank you so aman raman already added me on the whatsapp group as well so okay, sorry i have to find your email uh oh can i send you in few minutes sir huh? sorry i didn't yeah no no that's fine it's just so obviously i i've got your contact details then for when i need to obviously send you stuff yes yeah, sure you know i will because i need to log in and I, i'm normally i'm using my other laptop auto save the password <laughs> and thing. so when you're two three places is sometime is a bit you know everything top of head <laughs> <laughs> okay welcome let's see you know please we'll start okay so the unit content is the professional practice development in education and training yeah, yeah. development so development and training training normally is for particular role and development normally we looking in the long term perspective so so our learning outcome one professionalism and it influence our professional values in educations and professional development is gain the new skills through continuous education and career training uh, yes at the moment first suppose you know in a teaching environment like because if you we teaching various sort of so maybe we can say as development can be embedding the digital tools yes yeah okay D digital tools so we can explore those like you know one of them we use a lot and kids love it is kahoot yeah oh god mine love that and that's you know which we we can other there are plenty of others i'll carry on uh, one is called menti if i'm right you know spell mentimeter yeah never heard that's of that uh that's you know which we can explore that's which we can use it so we we use at our school we've got one for maths and um, which is called mathletics mathletics yeah and then we've also got one that they use for english and literacy which is called lexia so already we have certain yeah. programs Excellent. which we use to support our students and their needs brilliant excellent that's other uh, is uh, sync learning yes which is also very popular in schools which a lot of you know institutions okay. use okay well they're which, the ones we've used so kahoot athletics and lexia so. uh, yes so we uh, i'll try to embed you know more in the following lesson so that's you know which we we look, we can explore it yes that yeah, will help us in you know our professional depends you know what things is work but we have all in our basket whenever depends on student learning style yes so we can explore the learning style and we can look around and give them activities accordingly so yeah. professional practices where the student is required to extend the knowledge and skills within the practice uh, particular environment practical environment so always good to be giving them more recent example what is the happening so that's also quite good to yes that's you know yep. especially of course the university and school slightly different environment because here we're dealing with more yes uh, different age group so that's you know uh, uh what is the professional practices of professional development professional development involve the employees getting better at their job of course various trainings we will doing it which we can reflect reflection is more important so we can look around in term of uh i'll give you a template we can look around gibbs model maybe you have you done it uh, anything yeah, we learn i did gibbs because before i did my so i completed a level three teaching assistant apprenticeship or something so some of this obviously will oh, overlap so and brilliant. then obviously as a, as a social worker gibbs reflection <laughs> that's one of the key parts of the job so Ex excellent quite so familiar it, with gibbs brilliant it mean you've done your education standards knowledge skills and behaviors yeah well, I hope, and yeah port, i hope port, so <laughs> portfolio and yes uh, yeah, well, in in in, in, apprentice, in apprenticeships yeah. yeah we've done we obviously we did reflection so and as i said as a social worker reflected obviously all the time so it will be coming coming in use i'm sure 
excellent so what i'll do i will give you some rj's reflective journals yes yes of okay. different okay. lessons on different topics which you can you can embed it in yourself according to your lessons huh? so we yeah. can look around the points you know which i'll share with you okay understand the professionalism and influence of the professional value yes in education and trainings so of course at the moment uh, we have used to be gtc then skill council yes then of course you know lot of other requirements so understand the professionalism and influence the professional values uh, it is essential to develop into the theoretical framework underpinning these concepts yes which will look you know these several key theories framework guide behaviors and the value of profession in education and training sector one of the fundamental theoretical framework in the context of code of practice yes professional practice are code of ethics mm. thus you know which we can such code uh, outline the expected like um, of course you know we teach british value in schools yes our own yeah. values which we embed you know those you know those we need to be as a professional person uh, professional bodies such as um, gtc yes which we ifl which of course the name has been changed uh, establishment code of conduct for instance yes code highlight the value like integrity so integrity mean honesty respect yes care about yeah. Uh, putting ourselves in their shoes according to looking their eyes what what would they expect and what sort of the behavior in that sector expect yes yep. so concept of professionalism further provide you know the table that's which we can look around these values integrity okay so then sometime we 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 need to reflect on the activity what we do these can oh, be com compromise our integrity like you know sometime we say in if you have self interest within it yes yeah that makes that sense can be sometime you know it can be compromise integrity uh we need to be of course we want to be best interest of but we need to be wider interest of public and welfare yeah of course you know the welfare institute sometime is a two ways process as well yes institutions should care about all the stakeholders yeah sometime you know very stressful environment can be so upholding the honesty and moral principle respect yes treating all the learners and so normally we say in in because different segment of population in schools yes they have a so normally we use the term think globally and act locally yeah what is the school segment of the population because maybe they have different expectation or different so we need to be look around these you know dignity and consideration care demonstrating the concern for the learner well being and development of course we have a well development my uh, safeguarding manager our safeguard course of course will carry on doing so, so i just ask a point there so um i'm just sort of thinking now of examples and things um cuz i know some of the units that we're covering is you know like i think um you know we've we've all got you know these codes of ethics and professional practice but one it's just because you've mentioned well-being just there under the professional value of care um in our school um we have so the stu all the students that are within my school they all have a well-being plan so would that kind of fit into this yes which we can you know like if we absolutely right because like because then because then it, it's obviously it's individual to the student and it obviously looks at um obviously tell me if i'm wrong or right i might be go off going off on a tangent but it tells it kind of it has their you know their key strengths their weaknesses their likes their dislikes um and things that kind of might trigger their behavior and excellent, excellent. so we're looking the behavior like, matrix and, and behavior and matrix and, and the new matching strategies to manage their behavior like if you know a particular you know thing that might work is you know uh, a lot of our kids because they've got like sensory needs and they've got ADHD a lot of them play with um fidget toys so that just kind of keeps them regulated so would yes. that kind of come into this somewhere yes yes we can embed it you know those example when we'll do assignment you're absolutely right yes 
which is meet you know our learning outcome and those are the values and we are those are in place in our organization yes to tackle that yes we have in placement of you implemented those which which is all come you know and under the same concept you're absolutely right well done great it's I'm, just, good. I'm just not very good at this linking theory of practice that's all so uh, i was just no, thinking no we'll, we'll go, got we'll that. Got a lot of examples and we'll give the samples as well only the things which we need to be we'll get the concept and then we will look the sample and we put ourselves in because you know everyone's in a different institution Yes, it's just I've okay. just made a note of it now just because then hopefully then that will um, trigger a you know to obviously include that example so yeah I'm just making a note as we go along <laughs> no that's fine okay equality and inclusion of course we have a quality manager we have a quality act 2010 yes yeah we can look around direct indirect you know sometime in some institution protected yes. characteristics yeah, yes. So we have uh, LGBT, <laughs> you know, these all, you know, teaching perspective as well, which we need to be. So ensuring. And it's, and it's also interesting because the subject that I quite enjoy and that's kind of what I'm teaching is um, RSE, so relationships and sexual education. So obviously a lot of this kind of we do touch on. So it's quite good that I'm teaching that subject, I think, because I think hopefully I can bring stuff in terms of you know that value you know quality and diversity and i know that i'll be starting that study in that module with um, one of your colleagues i think we start tomorrow so obviously hopefully that will all help with you know where we're kind of looking at these sort of things yes excellent great you know which is absolutely fine that's really good because of course you know that's more recent and practical examples which is quite good you know to embed it uh, regardless of their background, of course, you know, which we can look around, we can reflect, you know, at my work, we have a different uh, diverse group, yes. So looking how we can promote that in our lessons. So these, you know, uh, in at our own workplace, yes, wherever we work. Okay, continued uh, development, yes, commitment to ongoing professional growth and improvement, of course, which we'll carry on doing, and it's good to be we can carry on keeping the record and, of it. Like, school, you know, school quite good because obviously we do training and great. So, so that's we have a CPD records, we do things, you know, which is quite good too. We can keep it and we can embed it. I even if you think my CPD record as a has attached in appendix, yes. So when we'll do assignment, so we can, we'll do assignment discussion on separate, but that's, you know, which we can. Each of the professional value play a crucial role in shaping behaviors, educator and trainer in the higher education. Uh, integrity, we very well, we just mentioned, we need to be in term of, yes. All, like we have, you know, not in schools, maybe the cheating, yes. It can be happen in school, but what policies we have in place, yes. We're looking yeah. respect, treating learner and colleague, you know, with respect are, are sometimes, you know, these are common faith rooms, yes? Where we're giving them everyone the, the chance of it, yeah? And everyone yeah. respecting, of course, you know, we can look around those. Care, yes? Demonstrating the care means, showing the genuine concern, well-being. Uh, yes, that's why here come... Maslow, you already hope we done it. Maslow a lot. hierarchy of needs. Brilliant. Yes. Excellent. Great. Like so the, that's if the, gonna... if the bottom if the bottom's not met, you can't progress to the top. Excellent. So that's you know <laughs> that's so what we can it's like that's why this in school, if the student have the background, don't have a basic food. So in school the breakfast, yes. The scheme, you yep. know, many institutions. So that's, you know, is quite crucial, the care, well-being. So, well, of course, how the learner can learn when they are are emotionally because sometimes it's a separation in families, yeah? So we, those, you know, as a, are... As, as, as a school, we also introduced, um, I think it was this year, that obviously we were recognising that it, was it, having an impact on our kids. So we actually introduced a breakfast club. So certain students come in school have their breakfast and then they're set for a day obviously then to progress and do their learning so that's something we've implemented as a school in response to what you were just talking about 
excellent great you know that's you know and equality and inclusion ensure yes equity and inclusion means you know striving for the fairness that's you know sometimes of course we want to be as long yes people treat well you know the, with the respect in our organizations and think equally yes fairness means the equal opportunities but people apply and meet the standards yes so we need yeah. to be set the standard those you know equal opportunity for all the learner regardless of their background of course you know we can try to be abilities are or we can of course in school we do ability groups yes yeah which or we, we do. can ex, ex, extra sports sessions end of you know uh, school or classes huh? so in line with the principle of the social justice inclusion education uh continuous development yes committing to continuous professional development is essential for any whoever which we do cpd is of course we very well we mentioned already okay for the reading we can theoretical framework such as social learning theory yes and uh, yep <laughs> which we we can transformative learning theories by these, you know, Arthur Jack and various others. Which I'm, we, not, I'm not so familiar with transformative learning. I've not heard of that, Jack. I don't even know how to say the same name. Which we will look, you know, can also be referenced to understand how the values and behaviors are acquired and chained in educational settings. Yes. Yep. So we, we look around and in in conclusion, understand the professionalism, the influence of professional value in education and training requires a deep, you know, appreciation of theoretical framework and guide educator and trainer upholding the values such as integrity, respect and care, uh, which we can fostering the positive and effect, of course, you know, which we can look around as the goodwill as a school, because of course, you know, when we do our um, of study, you know, these, you know, inspections, huh? ultimately, these are the keys, you know, think what safeguard you have, what, you know, professional values in place, yes, who is yeah, responsible, what are, you have any incident, how you tackle it, you have a log for it, yes, so record keeping is also really, really, which we can explore. Okay, then 1.1, define the concept of professionalism, which we just mentioned, yes, we can look around uh, professionalism in context of education and training, conduct uh, attitudes and behaviors toward high quality education expertise. Normally I say to my student, you know, I'll try to be used mostly in my lesson, KISS principle, keep it short and simple, yes? To give the abstract <laughs> of the things, yeah? So that's, you know, which we, we can look around in uh, we can, of course, we can further explore about, look, you know, expertise, yes, professional in education training at the moment, of course, as earlier we discussed, you know, about the digital things, ethical conduct, always in um, fairness, equality, inclusion, diversity, differentiations, yes, uh, which we have. Mm -hmm. Then other we have one of, you know, which values we can look around, accountability. What is meant by accountability? Because what is meant? So when it's you... about taking, I think another way I describe it is taking responsibility. Excellent. So in mean is responsibility. You've been given responsibility. You've been given, like we say in a management perspective, we say you've been given resources. Is a responsibility accounting? you done your yeah. responsibility or not? Yes. So professional mm -hmm. education are accountable for their action and the scene and yeah, there so are... what yeah, so what they do and like you said and what, what you see and you know, making sure you follow correct policies and procedures and processes um around that to you know, to ensure the children are safe. Uh, yes, so what we can do for it, we can draw SOPs. Sorry, say that again? We can draw SOPs, yes. What's SOP, sorry? standard operating procedures oh okay so which we can draw sops yes so that's you know further we know what are the sops yes those are and if don't follow it what will be happening so continuous improvement professionals are expected to engage 
okay it's for continuous improvement it's quite good to be sometime look around not just a one awarding body is always good to be ifl uh, look around gov.uk yes yeah uh, or sometimes it's quite good to be look around of course we'll carry on watching news yeah some you know the things which we can further our uh, commission those you know the reports those publish yeah that's you know that give us good you know picture what is happening in society yeah, of and, course. That, and the as the responsibilities okay so professional relationship building positive and respectful relationship with the learner of course uh communications when we do we can use one of the concept is called seven c's seven c's Half. oh i think yeah yeah I think it's I a com complete message concrete message clear message mm -hmm. yes so con concise message which we can explore you know seven c's yeah Okay. Okay. Concept of the dual dual profession is the term used in education training sector. Describe the idea, the part of the professional in the field of need to be fit in in two primary domains. Yes, there is subject matter expertise and pedagogical. Yes, expertise, subject matters expertise. Of course, you know you have like when I deliver my subject, especially taxation. Sometimes it's a very difficult to be up to date with everything of the tax. Yeah. Yeah. Because my, lot sister, of... my, my, my sister's an accountant. So, yeah, it's hard going. <laughs> and because every year's finance exchange, like national yeah. minimum wage, is going to be in, in the subject, that's the taxation. Then, of course, teaching practices and standards carry on changing those we need to be. Yes, like here we have example command of the mathematical concept and principle and various. So we can look around these, you know, in expertise, uh, which we can look around pedagogical ex yes, expertise related to the knowledge and skill required to be effective, teach and train others. Yes, uh, of course, uh, we can look around various tools nowadays, of course, which we can embed. Uh, instead of we deliver a lot, we can say learner will do a lot. Yes. Yep. So that's you know in which we focus the concept of dual professional highlight the educator and trainer. Not only the need the expert in their subject area, but also profession and art and science and teaching and training. Dual expertise ensure you know can deliver the high quality of education and training. So quality mean whatever. Uh, maybe you we heard about ISO are we called uh, TQM the concept huh? TQM is called total quality management okay. yes so total quality management it's mm -hmm. all about quality what you a uh, couple of maybe uh, we heard about ISO 9000 yeah different certification it's all about what we say same thing we do here okay. and we have a documentary evidence yeah like if we are reading any product yes it's contain it it should contain it yeah so mm -hmm. that's you know we, we we look you know in our mission our value as a school our institution we not contradict with those so uh, we have the concept reflective standards provided by Department of Education, yes, uh, which is in, in action and on action research, which we look, you know, the concept. Uh? Yep, Sean. Yep, Sean. Yes, Sean. Yes, yes. <laughs> so in action and on action. And on action. I do that all the time. Excellent. Great. So that's, you know, is wonderful. So I was doing it. I was doing it today. So I, I was, so I do two groups, like with the same lesson. Mm -hmm. but even as I'm doing it I'm adapting it and changing it because I was like mm, that didn't work with them let's try a different approach with this group so I'm reflecting all the time all the time oh, yes so. because you know sometimes sometimes it depends you know sometimes even it's things not went so well but it's yeah. a learning yeah. we, can, we can say come on I'll use different strategy for next time yeah, which, you know. as I said, it's quite good that I'm teaching the two groups because yeah, so ability-wise, they're similar. But then I literally, as I said, I did one an activity with one group, mm. 
and it just didn't work like I was like mm. and then you've got to then adapt it as you're going along so yeah I'm kind of doing that so hopefully I'll be able to give some examples have, have you ever used have you ever used the website is called get revise what's that for get revise what's that okay. for though uh, you know, like if you want to create some, you know, activities, like, you know, you want to create some resources. Yes. There are a lot of tools, you know, within it. Oh, okay. Cool. So get revising. No, I've not come across that yet. So um, when I've got time, I'll have a look. <laughs> uh, yes. Sometimes yeah. it's difficult, you know, everything to oh, keep in a flow. So much... But just if we, if we, if we click here, create. There's so much going on at the moment. Like, so I'm doing this module now with you, and then I start uh, another module with your colleague tomorrow. So there's a lot going on. <laughs> it's a hard work, but definitely. I'm trying to, you know, plan lessons. And, well, I hope so. I hope so. I get a job at the end of it all. So here we have all the tools, huh? if you want to make it yourself. Yes, depends, you know, I'm not okay. saying you must do. No, no, like, no, it's good. It's like good, like it's good. you want mind map, you want reviewing notes for your class, flashcards, yes? Oh, yeah, I like Quizzes, cr cross crossword, uh, crosswords, yes? Yeah, Organize no, your that's... thinking and these are all, oh. you know. Yeah, organization and me aren't the best of friends. I'm trying, I'm getting better, but study planner <laughs> i need one of those <laughs> uh, yes of course you know it's sometimes it's very hard you know all the all the you because it's in terms of the time and commitments and all that. so we can uh just you know some add it my name there but it's example yeah, in no, a, okay. a higher education in the uk is a professional value significant impact uh, practice in my area specialism in account so sorry could i just sorry to interrupt can i just ask a question so when you're talking about your area of specialism would mine would that count as the subject that i'm teaching or the area of specialism would that be because i work in a, a special needs school would that be classed as the yeah. area of specialism or yes, the subject? Your, because you are specialized in the special needs sector yes okay and then so that's, that's you know, what... within, that can be and if I look your uh, like social care side, yes, that's your dual so, special dual specialist areas, yes. So specialized area would be the fact that I work in an SEM school, and then the dual aspect would be the fact that I was previously a social worker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so these you know the value shape the way I approach teaching, interact with the student colleagues, and contribute to overall quality. Yes. So, of course, in a higher education, we look more research oriented, but a lot of, you know, in lecturing, a lot of university, they just stand and deliver the lectures. But I think so. That's not the right approach. Doesn't matter is the age group, which age group you are teaching, just engaging them. Yes. According to their level. Yeah. Are giving important. them because, you know, doesn't matter is they are we are different age group, you know, but yeah. I think so is really need to be embedding different sort of activities yes that's you know me so my, my learners so i work with the slightly older students so sort of key stage four key stage five so i work from kind of 14 to 18 so that's my kind of age bracket but they're all different and i think you raised a really good point was that you can't you kind of have to differentiate even within that and mm -hmm. you know sometimes i think correct me if I'm wrong because this is obviously it's you know I'm still in training but mm -hmm. I think sometimes you've just got a kind of as I said I think we've mentioned it already sometimes it's just not working and then or you know you might have, and this has happened <laughs> quite a few times you know you've planned a really really like really really what you think is like an amazing lesson and you've got loads of resources and you've done your research and it just it just doesn't work for you know various uh, yes you are you're absolutely right like i mean sometimes some... you just have to abandon it like literally and rethink so what we learned through the apprenticeship was mm -hmm. that it's and then it's always good to have like a backup plan so i've normally got like a bank of resources kind of quite easy to hand but right. you know for example that's why sometimes although we heavily rely on technology, for example, so I normally do my 
um my lessons as like a powerpoint um because mm. it's it's quite good for a lot of our kids because it's visual mm. um so obviously we're taking the learning and style to set, like count but if the system isn't working and obviously all the that information is stored on the drive then what do you do so it's always kind of thinking on your feet i think as well which yes. i'm so, learning yeah. as i'm going along so we can always reflect contingent plan contingent yeah plan. yes so second plan in place you know never knows it can happen huh? so yeah, like sending technology. email technology especially it can be very well like you know i've been one place and the student first place said we have you are the fourth lecturer and three three of them is left you know less than a month teaching i said um, no no worries give me a time yes also yeah. and because you know first you need to understand what the learner background where they're coming from yeah yes asking asking the question which industry what you do yes so you can give them examples from their background so they can learn quicker so that's you know we can look around that's you know in any specialist area really we need to of course we had a discussion about integrity the fundamental yes professional value mean you know being honest maintain high moral principle as a professional accountant like especially telling the client yes what is in the law uh, in in any area of specialism i apply the integrity to ensure the information knowledge uh, yes all we can look around in stand accurate and up to date of course you try your best but the things always changing uh, of course you know we can look around the plagiarism sometime in universities yeah those material honestly we use of course nowadays of course chat gbt maybe we use yes have you used chat gbt no what's it called chat gbt you know the new technology is a software that create the assignment for you chat g bt if i'm right yes so i'm taking your word for that cuz i don't know uh, what it is yeah. at the moment so, so if you google it you can find it and then of course you know you can it's like you want to set up professional values that will give you whole create the document for you and you can print it yes any topic say that, say that again so you can type it in sorry i thought this was a tool um, in 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 the search box like you know google we do search yes yeah if you set up account free one yes on chat gbt then oh, okay then any topic like i want to do coloring my house yes yeah so what what pattern or how i plan so i can just type the topic and this give me all up all the options huh? and it's oh, create okay. me it's it's so create create, me. create a free account it's a it's a free you know i mean you can okay. like a google like a gmail account so huh? it's work on gmail if you have or any other no sorry my, i i thought that i thought when you said because then you were talking about plagiarism i thought that was the thing that you used for the plagiarism okay oh uh, yeah so because you know we have the problem in now this you know the software can create the assignment file but we are using various other technology yes ai and various artificial intelligence yes we have a software called turn in yes that's we use a lot oh uh, yeah that's what we used at uni so when so, we went to uni that's so what they yeah within within that no the software been built is it human written or is it computer technology written yeah that's we use a, turn in sometimes that's why the universities want to change to so i can look around my assessment plan i can assess people on based on exam not just on the basis of yes based yep. of uh, based on assignments yeah that's you know because a lot of you know the our professional discussion one to one huh? and recording of course we need you know the trust and authenticity of academic environment which we need to respect of course you know respect in while treating all the learner and colleague dignity and consideration in my practice i demonstrated the respect of course we need to and we have to as a professional and fostering an inclusive you know learning environment i like that uh, term inclusive learning environment i like that okay so <laughs> that's you know which we need to and uh, and i actively listen my learner yes acknowledge their individual background 
and experience and create you know safe space where you feel comfort i try my best to give the examples from embedding or sometimes you know i use um, different color sweets yes say to like a chocolates and even with the adult learner and then i say you can pick you know whichever color they pick i can say okay no you are in one group yes so creating you know fast and slow learner in that type of you know air we can use uh, discussions yes through mentimeter open discussion open ended question those you know dialogue yes are, are we turn that now on we say different you know depends huh? so care uh, demonstrating the care means you know genuine concern about well being of course you know sometime we have uh, people understanding about things of course you know different cultural backgrounds are maybe english not first language sometimes of course you know different backgrounds can be we need to be look around this those how we can embed you know those in our lessons getting relationship with the student uh, yes but of course where we draw the boundaries as well you know within that yes motivating learner uh, atmosphere that's you know encourage their growth and development uh so i say to my learner come on you know always try to look around the network events yes because that that learner so we can say acc network events sema network events are uh, hga we can explore hga which is higher education academy or ifl yes or we can look around gtc so, was, or, so what are these what are these what do you mean by network events you know the uh, like you know the institution these are chartered institute are awarding bodies are professional they carry on okay. launching webinar seminars yes or local network even where people coming from different background to attend and deliver the uh, you know on various topics huh? okay. like you know c cmi chartered management institute yes they Not have heard of a lot of these but yeah so these you know which we can look around that's you know depends you know which your profession so we can explore in our own areas huh? like you have nursing council nmcs yes nursing medical council social yeah. care commissions so that can be example equality and inclusion yes professional value emphasis on importance of equity equ uh, equity and inclusion in the area of specialism which we can look around these you know is very important as background abilities um i adopt my teaching methods accommodate you know diverse learning style of course you know which will look different i'll give them activities like you know a learning style questionnaire any and honey and mumford maybe oh, yes. yeah i did that you <laughs> know so maybe it's really recalling you yeah honey and mumford <laughs> i remember doing that don't ask me what they said though i can't remember now it's quite a while ago now continue development yes uh, which we can regularly engage for the education of course you know which we need to be carry on doing depends you know sometime your specialist areas we need to look around yes what development is more crucial towards yes which sector which subject you teaching and what sort of learner you have huh? so what there but of course you know we can look around bbc skill, skill bbc bite size bbc skill wise um, worksheet works yes various tools which we can use in schools as well huh? uh, so in conclusion the professional values not only the guide my practices but also contribute effectiveness credibility of higher education in our we can look around of course you know we are a member of hea and ifl as well so which we oh, can um, so sorry as i already mentioned i'm um, teaching rsc which is relationships and sexual education so or p like when i was at school they called it pshe personal social and health education so i've actually joined when you're talking about associations i've actually joined the, what's called a pshe association brilliant yes so obviously i i look at that for you know oh. learning or updates or resources brilliant. and that's, that's after, wonderful yeah. uh, after half term we're moving on to be looking at um relationships and sexual education so i've already looked and there's some really good resources so i'm going to obviously download those and use those within my lesson planning during half term which is next week 
excellent great you know that's wonderful because you know <laughs> embedding the new facts and figures and giving the learner you know so in conclusion we can look around the professional value in education and training integrity respect care and all commitment yes continues to have a profound influence on my practice within my area especially it's in yours which we can look exactly you know it's because all, all the teachers and teaching methods which we look around different teaching methods which will do you know in the following and professionalism in academic environment and then we've been given all the reference you know which we can explore more okay so today lesson what we discuss about we discuss about professional values yes and professionalism and dual professions what is meant by and uh, i'm going to share with the, you either i can share i think so through the whatsapp you can download from it yes These what are two. you gonna so with it will this be uploaded on to moodle this uh, presentation or I you're prepare, but, but no presentation is already available on moodle okay and then you're going to send me uh, or those you know the two assignment which i mentioned yes. is good to do really... so are they... when, whenever sorry. you whenever you have a time it's not compulsory yes but no no I, it's that, good that, to read through it but can that's, I just you know, ask, Think, so think. those two things that you've sent me, is that, so is that basically kind of the whole of unit four? That's kind of what I'll be covering. Uh, that's, that that's, you know, surrounding against, you know, the concept which we are covering. Okay. So that kind of yes. gives me something to read through and kind of get an idea oh, really yes, about what, double, what double, I need to. Can I ask help. you a question? Because sure. I always, I always, what I'm finding really difficult is, um, words so i've got so i've got a couple of colleagues that are also doing sort of various qualifications um you know different but some of them have like word limits so just as a guide it would be helpful so obviously you're going to be teaching me unit four so for that like assignment because i think it's broken mm. down into five learning objectives so i think that's correct isn't it yes yeah. What would you look at? Because obviously you've been teaching this course for a little while now. What would you expect from a uh, like five 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 objectives? How how sort of roughly? And obviously when I was at uni, I was used to saying they'd say you know do a two thousand word reflective account or a two thousand word case study. From your point of view as the teacher, what would you be looking for word wise? Just so I've got a guide because. I'm okay. kind of struggling with that at the moment, if I'm honest with you. Okay, so I I personally advise student is look the command verb. Say that again. Look the command verb, like is explain, discuss, describe, evaluate, yes, whatever the command verb in the assignment brief will use. Yeah. And do accordingly, because if you're hitting the criteria, it doesn't matter the words, you have more or less. Yes? I know, but like I'm talking... I could be I, I I like to do lots of research and mm -hmm. then I have lots of information and I find it hard to yeah just condense yeah. it like really really hard so for me a, a guide of for, yeah it's good that you're saying about the words but I'm I'm doing that but I'm still finding it hard then to kind of condense it um and kind of limit it so if you said yes, to me so, so we can two, say, two, two, two thousand, thousand words. words so ten percent for example ten percent ten percent less so you're so, saying about two thousand words we're ten percent more ten percent less that's the you know the i standard. should i should be so, able to cover what i need to cover in two thousand words so if you have more words let's assume yes for the yeah, scenario yeah. you uh you did a lot of research you have a lot of facts and figures don't put in the main assignment put as an appendix in the main report, you can oh, see, okay. and that won't, that won't count. That makes sense. See, that wasn't explained to me previously. So lots of words um, you can attach as an appendix. Okay. And uh, appendix won't count in in word count. Huh? So, so put bulk. Sorry, I'm just making some notes. Yeah. In main assignment, and then the rest can attach as oh sorry your thing you're sharing things just gone off as as an sorry. appendix no this made me jump um appendix so it won't get so the words don't get counted don't 
Yeah. But from what you've said, so if I did 2,000 words, I should be able to cover comfortably all those learning objectives within. Yeah, I shared with you the file. You can click it. You can download it in the chat box. What file is that, sorry? You know, these two assignments which i shown you on the professionalism. Yeah. So can you not email those over to me? Yes, which I'll do, you know. Because I like to print and then highlight. No, That's no, no problem. So That's 2, 000, I'm looking at 2,000 words. Okay. So I think the first bit from what we've gone through today is um, just kind of defining really what professional, professional, professionalism, I can't even say the word, professionalism and dual professionalism. Yes. And so what is meant then, by then, just a definition, definition to you, which we can explore it. What is meant by? So is that the first thing that are you, yeah. that would be the first? So when would I need to then start looking at the the values that we looked at tonight? Yes. yes. So that would be the first bit of the assignment. Yes. So that's you know which we done the learning outcome one. You make it seem so easy. I just need to write it now. So today, <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> we'll 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 try keep it short and simple. Okay. So we'll we'll look. You know, today we done LO one. Yep. And the LO one little mind maps that was about values yes yep. and we discuss about professionalism yes i just need to summarize that really and and professions yes yeah so and our, di our, our, our discussion cover is the dual profession yes so i literally just need to summarize yeah but that shouldn't be too many words should it and then I'll start writing. So yeah. no, no, that's brilliant. Thank you. Because and how do you pronounce your name? Just... Anjum. Anjum, yeah. Anjum. Okay, brilliant. Okay, I think brilliant. I'm, I'm okay. I'm happy, I, I think. And then I'll try and sit down. Thank um, you. But no, that makes that makes a lot of sense. And then you'll email me the two uh, example assignments. Okay. Yes, which I'll share, you know, I shared it in the chat, but I'll share you. I'll post oh, no, could you, yeah, could you yes, email I'll, 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 I will do um, email. And if you no. can do that as soon as, because then I can start no um, I working it. on this. And then, as I said, I start a quality tomorrow with your colleague. So, great. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very brilliant. Very, very, very. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll see you next week. Brilliant. Okay. So next week will be on the, will be 13. Yes, learning objective two. Learning objective two. Just for the sake of, I will be abroad in different time zone. Normally, <laughs> is in, normally, is in no issues. Yes. Okay. So, just in case, you know, internet. Oh, no, any, where, where, any... where are you off to? Anywhere nice? Uh, I'm, I'm going to back home, Pakistan, you know, to see my family. Oh, okay. My parent, and then I'm traveling, I'm going uh, to Turkey and uh, Saudi. Very so nice. In, in in between, you know. So I will be back on twenty third. So it mean my next two lessons. Yeah. So somewhere will be, but I will let you know well before. Yeah, or if you if, need if to change. Need. Yes, if we yeah, need. If you, to. I can be flexible, but obviously, thank. I do appreciate you letting me know. Um, but yeah, so I'll be going away, but I'm not going abroad. I'm just going to Ireland. So. When I meet with you, no, I'm going Wednesday. So when I meet with your colleague next Wednesday, I'll be in Ireland. So I'll be sitting in my sister's study um, having my Zoom meeting. But yeah, any problems, just obviously as much notice as you Because, you know, you some, sometimes never knows, you know, technology in different locations as well. Oh, no, 100%. Absolutely, if you, you, know, if so. you had needed to change the time for whatever reason, yeah. just I'd appreciate you letting me know, like, beforehand, because sure. otherwise I get quite anxious about things. So... Sure. As much notice as you can, but obviously I appreciate you giving me the heads up straight away. So, uh, because normally there will be twelve o'clock here, will be seven o'clock, so five hours difference. So shouldn't be any problem. Okay. But if just for, is, in just drop, in case drop, you know. drop him a message. In, in case. Okay. You know. Well, and, I'll try uh, and do some do brilliant. some reading. Thank you, and uh, have a lovely evening, and have a nice Thank holidays. You. you know, nice break, a bit. Huh? Oh, it's only a few you. days, but I think I need it. So, yes, all definitely. right. Thank you, Andrew. It was lovely Thank to you. meet you. Uh, Take care. Lovely to meet. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.